Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So with Christmas just around the corner, I'm going to continue my tradition of making three handmade gifts. Now, I've got this pile of scraps I've got out of the garage that I'm going to use for it. And I'm going to turn them into gifts for the food lover or the keen cook. And I'm going to start by making a nutcracker. This is going to be pretty crude and maybe something for the caveman in the family. So the base of it needs a chunky bit of wood. And I've got this bit of oak that I can first get plain and then thicknessed and then use a table saw to cut it to size. So I've got this bit planed down, now I want to carve a couple of dishes into it. One to hold a pile of nuts and one to hold one single one so it can be cracked. So I'm going to mark those circles out and then I'm going to use my Arbortech ball gouge in the angle grinder to carve them. So now I've got a place to hold a walnut securely, but I need a method of cracking it. So I'm gonna make a little mallet. I've got this wood that's really heavy and I've used it a few times before and people have told me what it is, but I've forgotten. So if you can remember, please comment down below. I'm gonna get a little rectangular piece cut on the table saw and add some little chamfers to the edges. I've got an oak dowel to use as a handle, so I'm going to hold drilled through the centre and get that installed. Now to hold it in place, I'm going to wedge it. So I'm going to use the bandsaw to cut a slot in the top of the dowel, get a little wedge cut and get that hammered into place. So I've got the mallet, and I suppose we'll call it the anvil, made for the walnut cracker. And I'm just going to finish it with some tongue oil as it's food safe. So the finish is dry on these, but as it's going to be hammered upon, I want to have a soft base on it. So I'm just going to cut a piece of leather roughly to size get some contact adhesive put on both bits, leave it for 10 minutes to go tacky, get them pushed together, then I can trim any excess flush with the sides. This should stop it damaging any table it's on when it's used. So that's it all done. Now I can fill it with some walnuts and give it a go. I think that works surprisingly well. It's a bit of fun and I think it'd be a nice little gift. So now on to the next thing. Something I remember from my first year in secondary school and home economic classes. And it was these little wooden trivets that stopped the pans from burning the work surface. So I've got some scraps of oak I'm gonna rip down. 
I'm gonna make them into equilateral triangles, so each corner needs to be 60 degrees. So I'm gonna set the mitre gauge to 30 degrees and get the bits cut. So I said I needed to tilt the blade to 30 degrees, but actually I ended up having to do it at 60, so my maths is a bit rusty. Now I can get these glued together and clamped up, and when the glue's dried, I'm then gonna reinforce them with some splines. So I'm just gonna clamp them to this jig and then run it through the table saw using my flat tooth blade. Then I can get a little spline, put into place and left to dry. When the spine's dry, I can then get it all the sand down and I'm not gonna put any finish on these because they're just gonna get hot pans put on them. This video is sponsored by ITS. For those of you who don't know ITS, they're the home of thousands of power tools, hand tools, workwear, and much more. It's the ITS Black Friday sale, and it's the biggest ever. The sale has been running through November with new deals being added every week. It will soon be over, so this is your last chance to grab a bargain, so don't miss out. There are limited stocks on many items, so grab a bargain while you can. ITS offer next day delivery if you order before 7 p.m., they won't be beaten on price and offer a price promise against Toolstation Screwfix. ITS have over 21,000 five-star Trustpilot reviews. Now, for you lucky Badger Workshop viewers, if you place an order over £60 and use the code BADGER, you'll receive this free gift pack worth £30. So thank you, ITS. Now, the last item on the list to make is a herb stripper. A very simple thing and it could be made out of hardwood, but I'm gonna use some brass because I've got these little scraps. So first, I'm just gonna cut a little length down with the hacksaw. Now the idea is you push herbs through and it strips all the leaves off them. So you need different size holes for different size herbs. So I'm just gonna mark a line up the center and then I can drill a series of holes increasing in size. To make the shape a little bit more interesting, I'm just gonna round it over using a file, and then the last job is just to attach a leather lanyard so it can be hung up. That's the herb strippers all done. Now to use them, you need to find the right size hole for the stalk of the herbs you got, then just pull it through the hole and it strips the leaves off. So that's them all done. Three handmade gifts that I'm sure make great presents for some family members. Now, if you're interested in the tools I use, there's an Amazon affiliate link down below to those. So thank you for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.